Okay, so I'm sure you've seen that video that I made of the reasons why I lived in Thailand. Well, they were, they were the reasons why I used to live in Thailand, but that is not the case anymore. I do not live in Thailand, and I'm actually here visiting for a couple of months. Today, I'm going to give you guys three reasons why I don't want to stay in Thailand. And I'm actually going to tell you why I come back during a certain time. It's so important to know this because I think so many people are missing out if they don't know this. Stay tuned for that. Okay, so the first reason why I left, guys, is because of the visa options. The visa options in Thailand are not the best, unless you want to pay, like, a lot of money. But there are things that are coming soon that are changing. There's going to be a digital nomad visa coming soon, an actual digital nomad visa, etc. But when I was living here four years ago, they those options weren't there. It was only the elite visa. And I just didn't feel like that was worth paying that much for an elite visa you still have to go immigration like every three months so like or one month i don't know i think it's three months and i just didn't i just didn't see what was worth getting a elite visa for me personally but other people may see the reasons to get it okay now the visa that i was on was a student visa okay and let me tell you why that was a problem as well for me so on the student visa i did um hand-to-hand -hand combat fighting with like uh, someone who was a part of the military so it was really cool and i learned a lot of really good skills especially as a digital nomad when you're traveling the world it's a good skill to have self-defense um, the problem with that is that you had to be around the school. You know, I was only training like around, I think, four or two hours a week. It wasn't too much every three months, go to immigration. And it was annoying. It was annoying that I had to go to the school, you know, even though it was less time. Then it was harder to travel out. It was hard to go out to other cities for a long period of time etc there are some ways around that but you can't do it all the time so yeah that was annoying that i had to do that and you know i was here for three years so i should have been studying thai but um in this particular school they did like all the paperwork and stuff like that so i come <laughs> they uh handled all my paperwork so they made it like really easy for me and yeah so that was another problem. I didn't want to continuously be a student. And I do wonder how long can you keep being a student? So I do know there's other people that have been students for like years. And that's how they're able to stay here for such a long period of time. So in Mexico, for example, you can get a temporary resident visa. And you only have to go once a year. And then you can get a visa that's like two years and then you get your permanent visa. Like it's pretty easy. So he is quite challenging, you know? Um, I think though, I got one property here. I would only need, I think maybe two more properties and I will be able to get an investment visa. I'm pretty sure. So if you have the money, but not everyone has that type of money. So yeah there's that but i do recommend doing the student visa for like one year it is worth it it's just over time it's going to be kind of annoying before i go to my next point i have to show you guys my favorite snack in 7-eleven in thailand where is it at it's over here oh my god here it is it's mango but this is not just any mango, it's pickled mango. Let me show you the energy drinks while I'm here too, because the energy drinks are also pretty affordable, like this Red Bull with zero sugar. Where is it? Boom. Only 20 baht. And I don't know what this green Coca-Cola is, but it's only 16 baht. For those who are into soft drinks and are curious how much it costs here in Thailand, Number two is the air quality. So here in Chiang Mai, the air quality is good, right? During a certain time, which I'm about to get into. But during the year, it's either moderate and then in the burn, in the burn, there was no reason for you to be destroy my video. And that's why I left. Um, yeah, so the air quality is really bad and I just didn't want to live a life where I always 
consistently had to wear a mask to protect my lungs when I was staying here three years ago when it was during the moderate season so the air quality wasn't so bad it eventually got caught up to me and I started coughing up this weird white phlegm I'm like what's going on here and did some research and I worked out it was due to the poor air quality Asia's air quality is like one of the biggest problems and something that is very going to be a challenge to tackle. Yeah, my favorite jam. So let's answer that question of why I come back and why I come back during a certain time. Okay, so I come back during raining season. Look how beautiful it is. Look at all the greenery, look at the plants. Everything's shining so beautifully. And look at that old place, it's probably haunted. So I come back during the rainy season because the air is so clean, less tourists, which is so crazy because you'd think tourists would come during rainy season. It's far more better than when they do come, which is during burning season and in moderate season. But when it's rainy season, it's so much better. The sky is clear. The everything is just so much beautiful. Sometimes they have special discounts going on too due to not a lot of customers coming. So they try to, you know, make some sales so they can make some money. I also come back because I love Thailand. Thailand has a special place for me and I actually own a home here. So I always come back. Why not? You know, I don't have to pay rent. <laughs> can chill here for a bit. So yeah, I really do love it. And if it wasn't for having a certain niche and niche within an American community with my other work, then I probably would live here maybe long term. I'm not too sure. I'm still trying to figure out where I want to live in the world, to be honest with you. There's two more places I want to check out in South America, and then I'm going to make my decision. But if business and things go well here in Asia, I might stay in Asia. But I don't know. I really, even though Asia is so safe compared to South America. I'm leaving this outside the mall. I'm going into my mall to watch a movie. And in two hours, the bike will still be there. Okay, so it's 11.33, that was a long movie. I arrived here around 9 something, so... Here it is, still. <laughs> no one's stolen it. South America has a special place for me, you know? So, I don't know, we'll see what the future holds. So I end up hurting myself really badly. Watch and find out what happens.